Now that we're all experts at using arrays in scripting, in case you haven't heard, the array also has a sister name, dictionary. Let's now take a look at how to use dictionaries in scripting. Up here, I have an example of an array, and here is an example of a dictionary. The difference between an array and a dictionary is that you access the elements of the array using the array index. For example, this one has the index of one, and here is index of two, index of three. With the dictionary, you don't use the index to access the elements or the entries of the dictionary, but instead you're using the key. For example, the key of the first entry is apples. The key of this next entry is oranges, and the key of this entry down here is bananas. One thing to keep in mind is that the array elements are stored in sequential order. So the index of this first entry is one, two, three, but the entries of the dictionary, they are not stored in any order. So the order could be random. Here are some examples of how to access the elements of the array and how to access the elements of the dictionary. Let's run tests and take a look. So here, the first answer we have is oranges because we are accessing the second element of this array. So it is oranges. Down here, we're getting the dictionary entry where the key is oranges and it returns the value of 12. We have 12 oranges. So basically the array here tells us what type of fruits we have inside our basket. But the dictionary here tells us how many apples how many oranges and how many bananas we have inside this basket. Here is one way of accessing the dictionary entry. And if you like, there's another way to do it. For example, let me do control shift D here to copy the line. And instead of using the brackets and the quotations, I can just use the dictionary name followed by a dot. And you can select a key here. For example, if you want to print out oranges, just select this key and let's take a look. You can see both line number 10 and 11, it printed out the second entry, well, the entry where the key is oranges. In this next example, we're gonna look at how to change the array element versus changing the dictionary element. They are very similar. So here we're changing the array element number two to peaches. Instead of oranges, it's gonna to turn to peaches and then we're printing out that array element down here, we're changing the dictionary entry, oranges, we're changing it to 15 from 12. And we're printing out the number of oranges we have. Down here, we're making another change to the number of oranges we have. So we're changing it to 18. And again, we're printing out the number of oranges that we have. Let's take a look. So first line here, line number 10, printed out peaches because we changed the second array element to peaches, then we printed it out. And down here, line number 13, we're getting 15. That's the number of oranges we change it to. And here, down here, we get 18. This example here, we're showing you how to access the dictionary entry using a variable. So here we're declaring a variable pickup fruit, and it has the value of apples. In the next line here, we're using that variable, pickup fruit, to get this entry, the dictionary entry, where the key is apples. Let's take a look. And it returned 20. We have 20 apples. Similar to the array, in the array, you use the for in i pairs loop to loop through the array. For the dictionary, you use the for in pairs loop to loop through the dictionary. It is the same as the array without the i in the front. So in this case for the array, each time you go through this loop, it returns the index value pair of the array. And we're printing out the index value pair here each time we go through the loop. For the dictionary, each time you go through the dictionary, it returns a key value pair and we're printing out the key value pair each time we go through this loop. This is how you iterate through the array and this is how you iterate through the dictionary. Let's take a look. 
on the first line, we have apple, because the first entry in the array is apples, and then we have oranges, bananas. Down here is our dictionary. So the first entry of the dictionary is bananas. Remember, I mentioned the dictionary is not in any order. So even though we stored banana last in the dictionary, it came in first when you're iterating through the dictionary. So the first entry return from our loop is bananas, and we have five bananas. Second entry is apples, and we have 20 apples, and then we have 12 oranges. And that is a quick tutorial on how dictionary works in scripting.